and welcome to today's construction class. All right, we'll be constructing uh, the very picture on your screen right now in isometric. So we are to make use of the principle of isometric circle or isometric curve to construct this object. All right, so the very first thing is to what is to produce our horizontal line. After producing the horizontal line, the next thing is to what is to produce uh, a vertical line. Okay, after producing the vertical line, the next thing is to draw our isometric plane that's 30 degrees. Okay, then we start picking the measurement. All right, as you can see, the thickness uh, of that block is what is 20 mm. So on this axis, I'm measuring what 20 mm. Why the width to what you see here is what is 50 mm. And the height, yeah, the height is 45 plus 25. That's what that's 70. 70 mm. The height is 70. And having done that, I'm just going to project those planes out using my 30 60 degrees set square. All right. Okay, I haven't done that. So, uh, taking a look at that particular object, we are providing two isometric curve. Yeah, half of a full isometric circle on this front plane, then half of it also at this back plane. All right. So, let us develop the one for the front plane first of all. All right. So, the radius there is what is 25. So, I'm going to develop our isometric circle for this area now. Just uh, take note of all the procedures I am going to be taking. So, 50 year. Half of 50 is what 25. Then on this area also, the half is what is 25. All right. Having done that, I'm going to project the planes out. Okay. So I haven't done that. I'm going to work, join the longest part. Yeah, I'm going to join the longest part together. After joining the longest part, then the first diagonal. Then, okay. So I haven't done that. The next thing is what is to pick my compass, picking my compass and what and draw out the curves. Okay, so for this area, I'm going to draw out the curve, which is that. All right. Then for this area, extend my compass here. Then what? Then I'm going to draw the curve, which is this. Okay, so I have the curve on the front. Understand, I have the curve in the front. So, the next thing is to is to develop the box behind so as to get the curve behind, all right? So, but before that, let me just take in this area out. Yeah, I want to okay. So, to get the curve at the back now, so this same point A, point B, point C, and point D, you understand, then point. E and point F, point G and point H. So this same point here will be what will be transferred to the back here. Will be transferred to the back there. So just uh, take note of what I'm going to do now. All right. So now I'm having what A1, G1, B1, F1, this will be what C1. 
all right so to get my uh, other two components so this is my word now this is my e1 and this is my what this is my d1 right so i haven't gotten that i'm going to develop this kind of square box to do what to the back just take note of what i'm going to do now g1 to d1 all right e1 to f1 all right then i'm going to get my uh, g1 to h1 okay this is my h1 so i haven't gotten that so my diagonal now from d1 i'm going to join the longest part which is what a1 and c1 join the longest diagonal a1 and c1 i am drawing that now okay that's it as you can see then the first diagonal is what d1 to what to g1 okay so this is my g1 here and d1 here so i'm going to what join them together then f1 to what to d1 also which is this all right so i haven't done that all i have to do is what just bring out the the curve all right so from d1 to f1 the same radius it's going to give me uh my curve all right yes then then the corresponding this thing so i'm going to end it at the midpoint here okay i'm going to end this here so i haven't done that the next procedure is to pick my ruler and join this part down here yeah i'm going to join it with a straight line and i haven't done that i'm going to what thicken the other parts all right and that is our what that is our object all right so ensure you subscribe to this channel then also refer it to your friend that might be of need and i'll be in need of it thank you